Yenka Science lets you model many motion and forces experiments and graph the results from them. Here we have added a motion space, a concrete ground and a cart. When the ground is added, it creates a gravitational field, but only inside this space. To edit the cart's properties, double click on it to open its properties pane. First, we'll set a new mass for the cart and hide some of the force arrows. In the appearance section, you can change an image for the cart. There are some predefined images that you can use, or you can choose your own image for the cart. The cart can be resized by dragging the grey handles around it. We'll use this model car to investigate distance time graphs. To do this, we want to be able to control the driving force applied to the car. Go to the Presentations folder in the Parts Library and add a number part. Drag the target onto the car and choose Driving Force X from the Properties list. When the value of this number part is changed, a force will be applied to the car. Click the arrow beside the number part and you'll see the force on the model car change. It starts to accelerate. Now we need to add a graph. Drag the graph from the presentation folder in the parts library. Next, drag the target symbol from its y-axis and release it onto the car. Choose the property to graph on that axis, displacement x. This measures the displacement of the centre of the car from the origin in the x direction. To see the trace more clearly, we'll use the auto foot buttons beside the graph. Many measurements, like displacement and gravitational potential, are measured relative to the origin. To show the origin, double click on the motion space to open its properties pane. In the motion section, check the show box under origin. To move the origin, drag on the circle at its centre. Now displacements will be measured relative to the left hand side of the space. By default the origin is fixed to the ground, but you can change this in its properties pane. Now we can experiment with the driving force in the car and see the displacement time graphs that are drawn. Applying a negative force in the x direction means you're applying the force to the left. The same positive and negative directions apply to other quantities like velocity and acceleration. Now we'll change the graph to show velocity in the x direction against time and repeat the experiment. If you like, you could add a second graph part and compare distance and velocity graphs side by side.